Congratulations if you just picked up a Google Pixel Watch. Now this was a great decision, I think for the most part, hopefully. I went and bought this thing and I've already connected it to my Pixel, you know, itself. So if you want a tutorial on exactly how to connect your Pixel or really any Android phone to your Pixel Watch, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description to be the first link. You can go and watch that video. I'm assuming you already connected it, so we're already past the point of connection, but regardless, this is a beautiful watch that I think you're really going to like, hopefully. Now the design on the outside is very similar to a lot of other watches. So if you're familiar with any other watch, even like a non-smart watch, you still have the screen, you still have buttons, you still have everything like that. And luckily for you, these smart watches, if you know how to use one, you pretty much know how to use the other one. Now on the outside, we have our display. It is a really decent display, it's circular. There's a couple of different ways to go ahead and power on your Pixel Watch. The one way is you can look at it just like this, and it should go ahead and trigger the display to turn on, just like so. You can also quickly turn off the display by tapping and holding down on the display like this, or looking away from your Pixel Watch. That's another way to do it. But you can also go ahead, if your Pixel Watch screen is off, you can go and tap on the display, and it'll go ahead and turn on the display too. So that's a quick little lesson, nothing super crazy. Now on the side of our Pixel Watch, on one side we don't have anything except for this little speaker grill. On the other side, we have our button. So this is a really important thing. We're going to be using this button quite a bit. Not only is it an actual button that you can click in, but it's also a little sliding wheel that you can go ahead and slide. So on certain watches, we call it the digital crown. On this one, I guess we can just call it the sliding wheel. We also have another button up top that is actually used for primarily turning on and off our Apple Watch completely. It's also a recents button as well. So those are really the only two buttons that we have on our Pixel Watch. Now on the back side, we do have a little bit of a different type of styling. So we have our little charging place. So if you want to charge your Pixel Watch, this is exactly how you do it. Within the box itself, you should have, you know, a little like little charging puck like this. You should be able to wirelessly charge your, you know, Pixel Watch from a Google Pixel as well, but we'll talk about that in a different video. In this case, all you want to do is go and grab your little charging Google, it has a little G on the back, your little charging little wire that came inside of the box itself and you want to plug one end to your specific you know if it's a charging block that you want to have that does not come pre-installed with one in the box you can plug it into your chromebook your macbook your pc as long as it has a usb type c cable and all you want to do at this point is grab the one end of your specific pixel watch charger and you want to grab your pixel watch and all you want to do is place your pixel watch right on the back of your specific you know charging block and you should be able to see your Pixel Watch display will turn on. In this case, it's not turning on because you know it's not plugged in. And that's all you have to do. Now, like I said, I think if you use your standard Pixel Watch, you should be able to charge it. You should be able to charge it from the back of your Pixel Watch. But this is the one way to do it. Grab your little charging block like this, plug it into the back of your Pixel Watch, and you should be able to actually fully power on and charge up your Google Pixel. So that is basically how you do it. We do it all primarily from the back of our Pixel Watch. Now, if you look closely, you can see that we also have our bands. Now, the back of our Pixel Watch has our, you know, heart indicator, you know, blood pressure monitor, whatever this thing is. It's really cool. You can disable it in the settings. But I'll go and show you how to, you know, actually remove these bands. Now, it's actually kind of a crazy process. I, it took me a second to figure it out, but it's not as crazy as you may think. So the first thing you want to do is there's a little button on the side of your Pixel Watch right here. And all you have to do is go ahead and click on this button. There's a little button right on this side. There's also a button, it's usually like on the other side. So what you want to do is you want to hold down on this button right here. If you want to detach a band, hold down this button right here. And all you want to do is slide this specific band off. So that is all you have to do. Hold down this little button and basically slide it off while you're holding it down. Now, if you want to attach the band back in, and this is what was a little bit complicated. What you want to do, and I'll go and zoom in a little bit more for this, all you have to do is go ahead and grab your band just like this, and you want to go ahead and kind of, you don't have to click on this button, but all you want to do is slide it into the little, it's like the little indicators up top, and you should be able to just slide it into place. So there's a little tiny like, like kind of like bumps right there, and you'll see that the same bumps exist on here. So all you want to do is go ahead and kind of find the little groove inside, and you should be able to slide it into place just like this. It's a little weird, you don't have to click any buttons, and it's not anything tight, like it's super easy to do, don't overthink it. I was kind of scratching the sides here because I was trying to figure it out, and I was not able to. And luckily we finally got it. So you can do the exact same thing on this one too. Hold down the button on the side, hold down the button on the side, go ahead and detach it just like so. And then if you want to bring it back in, just find the grooves. You don't have to hold down that button, just find the grooves just like so, and it should be able to slide in. So it takes a few seconds, like I said. You probably want to be a little gentle with it, but after a little bit of time, you should be able to see it'll click back into place. So that is a quick lesson on how to basically, you know, utilize your Pixel Watch that way. So now when we turn on our Pixel Watch, you'll see the main display here. 
And as always, you can go ahead and customize it, which we'll show you in a second. But first off, if you want to swipe down, you'll basically come into your quick toggle settings. Now, like I mentioned, you can always use the touchscreen here, but you can also maneuver through your Pixel Watch by scrolling through the wheel here. And you can also swipe up from the top and you'll be able to see your notifications. So it's almost like the same thing on Android. So if you go ahead and swipe down on your Android phone, you'll be able to see all your quick toggle settings. And here you can customize these things quite a bit. You can also jump straight into your settings by clicking on the little settings icon here, and you'll jump straight into settings here, which is so cool. Now, the little digital crown here acts as a home button as well, so you can always click into the home button here. You can always come straight into your watch face. Now, if we do the same thing, there's also somewhat of gestures on your specific Pixel Watch as well. So you can always swipe back, and you can always go back into the previous panel you were in. You can use this as the home button, and you can swipe back as somewhat of a back button, which is really cool. Now this top button will bring you into your recents. So if you go and click the top button right here, you'll basically see your most recent applications that you just used. So remember we were just in settings. Well, settings is right here. You can jump straight back into settings by clicking here. And you can also click back into your recents right here. You can also just swipe through and see all the other applications you were using. And that's actually really cool. Now swiping back up, you can go and click back on your digital crown and we'll come back into our watch face. Now, like I mentioned, the back button will also bring you into, you know, your little side panel here, which is really cool. You can go forward to use the front gesture. You can also swipe forward to swipe between your little quick little, I guess, workout things that are really cool. The Galaxy Watch has this too. So it's really awesome that you can swipe between all your different panels right here. And like I said, swiping up will bring you back into your notifications. Now you can go ahead and get into all your applications that you have on your Pixel Watch by clicking on the side button here. So if you go and click on, click on your digital crown one time, you'll basically see all the applications that you have. So you can go ahead and swipe through and you can see all your applications. So if there's a certain application that you're looking for, then you can go and find it here. So Google Wallet you're looking for, if you're looking for Google Maps, Media Controls, Google Messages, which you're going to be able to see all those specific applications by clicking right there. And like I said, you can swipe back out if you want to click here to go back into your you know, watch face, or you can click on the home button here and basically come in the same spot. Now, another thing I'll show you is how to customize your watch face. So you can go and hold down and long press on your watch face right there. And you can go ahead and see that you can go and swipe through. Well, at least you can go and swipe through at the bottom. And you can go and click on the little pencil icon right here to edit your watch face. Now, you can also swipe between different watch faces too. So if you'd rather have a watch face that looks like this, well, you can go and click here and use this one instead. You can tap on it. And now you have this watch face. Now, holding it down once more, maybe you don't like that one. Maybe you like something like this. Well, now you have this watch face on your Google Pixel Watch as well. So that's another really cool thing that you have. Now, like I said, very similar since they're all on Wear OS, the Galaxy Watch and this one, it's very, very similar. So if we make our way back to our first one, we can click on the pencil icon down here and we can go ahead and customize our watch face as well. So like I mentioned before, if you want, you can go and swipe through, you can change, you know, different modules, you can click here and choose a different application if you want to. So if, if I want like a stopwatch there, I can change this to a stopwatch. If I want this as uh, something else, maybe like, you know, whatever other thing we have, maybe notifications, I can click notifications there. And you can customize this however you want to. You can also swipe through and change something else. So you can bold the time if you want to, which you can go and enable. And when you're done, you can go ahead and swipe through, click on the little OK button kind of that kind of configures it. And you can tap back out here and you'll see your watch face has now changed. So that's another really cool thing that you have. So you can customize that however way you want to. Now the next thing and probably last thing I'll show you is within the quick toggles themselves. So if we swipe down once more, I would recommend kind of going through here and kind of customizing your little quick toggles. You can see your battery percentage here. You can change these whichever way you want to, I believe. But you can also change the brightness level by clicking brightness and you can increase and decrease the brightness of your Pixel Watch as well. I think you, so you can go ahead and change it like this, which is really cool. You can enable or disable adaptive brightness. I usually keep these things off, but you can enable it if you want to. Now if we make our way back, you'll basically be able to see if we swipe down once more, we want to make our way over to our settings application. So we can do that by clicking on settings here. Now, the last thing I'll show you is basically how to update your watch. So I would recommend going through your settings application and pretty much just kind of understanding this whole entire layout. There's not a lot of crazy things here, so you should be kind of understanding. It's just kind of the same thing as your settings on your Google Pixel Watch or your Pixel phone or any Android phone for the most part. And the last thing I want to show you is under system. So you want to click on system, which is all the way at the bottom and under system update, what I would recommend doing is making sure that your Pixel Watch is up to date on the most recent version of your specific you know, Wear OS. If you're on a very outdated version of Wear OS, then that can cause some problems. You may not be getting the best battery life or the most amount of features. So I would recommend probably updating your Pixel Watch as often as possible. As you can see, it's downloading an update for me already. 
And at this point, all I have to pretty much do is wait. Now, I don't know if I click the home button if it's going to take me home, so it will. So I'm pretty sure it's going to dial in the background, but I would recommend just going through and understanding that you can update your watch as often as possible. So those are pretty much the main things I wanted to showcase to you. You should now have a pretty decent understanding of how to use your Pixel Watch. Again, if you have any other questions or anything remotely close to that, let me know in the comment section below. I also have a ton of tutorials on my second channel of exactly how to use this watch, connecting it to other devices, tricks and tips, all those other good things. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.